As a voter, I'm sad to lose Joe Biden, but I can understand. I mean, being a candidate sucks. It's an ugly, nasty battle with a single bloodied survivor. It's like the Hunger Games. No, it's more than that. It's the Hungry for Power Games. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Welcome. Welcome to the Hungry for Power Games. <laughs> Tributes, assemble! Yes. No, oh, look at them. Look at the crop. So hopeful and fresh faced. Well, hopeful. <laughs> Children, let this be a cautionary tale. Moisturize. <laughs> at first blush, this looks like a bountiful crop headed to the Capitol. But look what happens when you take away all the Republicans. Even Donald Trump couldn't comb over a bald spot that big. <laughs> By the way, Donald, as a friend, that golden wig is a bit over the top. Tone it down. <laughs> and just last week, the Democrats' bald patch got even patchier. Former Virginia Senator Jim Webb announcing he is dropping out of the race. I'm withdrawing from any consideration of being the Democratic Party's nominee for the presidency. Yes, Jim Webb is withdrawing from consideration. I'm sure that will come as a disappointment to his supporter. Oh. <laughs> so sad. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> of course, as a former member of the Reagan administration, Webb realized that he was a tough sell to district Democrat. I fully accept that my views on many issues are not compatible with the power structure and the nominating base of the Democratic Party. Yes, there are many issues where they're not compatible, like guns, the budget, and should Jim Webb be president? Mm. <laughs> no, mm, I think not. And now the good senator can spend more time with his family complaining that they got more time to speak than he did. <laughs> so farewell, tribute Webb. I'd say we hardly knew ye, but hardly is too generous a term. Since you were polling in Iowa and New Hampshire at zero percent. <laughs> zero. <laughs> Go sag. Just proving the old saying if a tree falls in the woods and no one is around to hear it, it would still get more votes than Jim Webb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Mm, mm. So. Tribute Webb has gone to the Valley of the Ancestors. Unless this delightful talking cinder block somehow makes a stunning comeback. I'm not going away. I'm thinking about all my options. Yes, please think through all of your options. <laughs> Especially that going away one. <laughs> it feels right, it's tasty. And the Democratic drama continued, for Jim Webb wasn't the only former Republican to drop out of the power games. Democrat Lincoln Chafee ended his campaign today. Now, as you may know, I've been campaigning on a platform of prosperity through peace. Actually, we did not know that you were campaigning at all. <laughs> oh, oh. But do continue brave tribute. But after much thought, I've decided to end my campaign for the president today. Such a shame. This Lincoln had all the charisma of the logs he was named for. <laughs> Let's look back upon Tribute Chafee's journey through the arena. According to the game makers at 538.com, Governor Chafee's poll numbers were a roller coaster ride of excitement, rocketing anywhere from 0% up to the dizzying heights of just over 0.6%. <laughs> Meaning, 0.6%. Yes. Meaning, at peak Chafee, out of 100 people, he had the support of one guy from the waist up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. 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 Oh. Mm. Mm. Down there. No. Yeah. No. Ah. He had such promise when he offered himself as a tribute back in June. His first words of his actual presidential announcement sent a clear message. I am the only candidate who knows the definition of the word farrier. Well, thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob and Mark, very much. A farrier puts shoes on horses. Yes. 
So true. Yeah. <laughs> so true, a farrier puts shoes on horses. And that is just the beginning of a bold jobs plan for the 19th century. I was sure he was going to get the vote of every Scrivener, Cooper, Milner, and Wainwright. And yet, even with all of Chafee's knowledge of equine cobbling, ironically, he was ill-equipped for the presidential horse race. <laughs> Which is tragic, because he was the candidate willing to boldly embrace internationalism. Here's a bold embrace of internationalism. <laughs> Let's join the rest of the world and go metric. Yes! Ha! A stirring campaign slogan, go metric. <laughs> Unfortunately, American voters didn't give 2.5 million. <laughs> <laughs> Miller beep. <laughs> of course, even with this week's bloodbath at the cornucopia, our games continue. But before they do, we raise our cannons to honor the. Hold on a second, Stephen! Stanley Tucci! <laughs> Stanley! Stephen! Stanley! Stephen! Stanley! Please! Stephen, thank you! Stanley Tucci! Thank you. Stanley, thank you. I didn't even know you were on my show tonight. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. not. Uh, I no, don't... I was just walking down Broadway. Yes. And, and Old Broadway. I, old Broadway, the Great White Way. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, my Tucci sense started tingling. <laughs> as, it, uh -huh. uh, yeah, yes. yeah. As, as it does whenever somebody impersonates the character that I've played, Caesar Flickerman. Um, Stanley, Stanley, yes, Stanley yes. please. For legal reasons, I don't know who Caesar Flickerman is. <laughs> Obviously, the character I'm doing is his brother, Julius Flickerman. Oh. Look, Stephen, uh, I, 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 yeah, I, yeah. Delicious. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Delicious. Good. You smell scrumptious. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, I, I understand that you're having fun here, but you know, Caesar, yes. for me, is, is a nuanced role. And he's a, a larger than life TV host who's hungry for the adulation of the crowd and whose effervescence masks his true vulnerability. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes. Caesar Flickerman is the role that I'm proudest of, second only to my performance as Mitchell Garabedian in the film Spotlight. Stanley, yes. wait a second. Am I hearing you correctly? Is that the same spotlight that's opening in select theaters on November 6th? I hear it's great. You should really stop by sometime to promote that. I'll think about it. Well, I'm sorry, Stanley. I didn't realize I was getting Julius Flickerman so very wrong. No, uh, Stephen, it's not wrong. It's not wrong. It isn't. It's just... No, 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 no. It's not wrong at all. It's just with those theatrical mannerisms and that bubbly attitude, you're clearly, you're more of an Effie Trinket. Really? Yeah, I think so. Or perhaps Don't her brother, Julius Trinket! <laughs> Stanley! Yes! Stanley! Stanley, will you join me in celebrating the fallen? I'd love to. Thank you. <laughs> they have fought bravely against obscurity, but ultimately, who are we talking about again? Oh, uh, Webb and Chafee. Right. Right. Yeah. Who he said? Yeah. Tonight, we salute you. Citizens, give it up for the great Stanley Tucci!